Hello! In addition to the basic halter analysis that we reviewed in the previous video, BTL CardioPoint Halter also provides a unique set of advanced diagnostic tools that are easy to use and do not require any additional trainings to work with them. With this video, you can start using them right away and significantly save your time. So today, we will talk about three visual analysis tools. Relief Map Point Care and PSD Graph Let's start with the Relief Map. This tool serves for visual ECG analysis and significantly saves time when working with a signal. Instead of reviewing the recording beat by beat, we see hundreds of beats at once, with clearly visible P waves, T waves, and QRS complexes. It is the optimal method for tracking waveform changes, such as arrhythmia, atrial fibrillation or flutter, ST depression or elevation. The tool has two modes, AF mode for arrhythmia diagnostics and ST mode for ischemia diagnostics. Let's start with the AF mode. In this mode, we see 10 minutes of cardiac activity at once. In the first example, we find episodes of atrial fibrillation easily distinguishable on the relief map. By clicking on an area on the relief map, the corresponding ECG episode can be observed, and we can analyze it in details. Next example is Wandering Pacemaker. Here we can clearly see how the pacemaker gradually moves from the sinus to the atrioventricular node, which is a much harder symptom to catch on the ECG curve. In the third example, lots of superventricular extrasystoles appeared, followed by episode of superventricular tachycardia. The relief map is fully interactive, so by selecting the episode, we instantly see its duration and observe it on the ECG. Let's move to ST mode that gives a great overview of ST segment. In this mode, we see almost two hours of the ECG signal on the single screen, which allows us to easily detect various ischemic changes in the signal. The principle of operation in this mode is the same as in the AF mode. Color indicates to us the position of the signal relative to the baseline, meaning any depression is blue and any elevation is red on the graph. In this map, we observe about 30 minutes of a descending SD depression. Relief map can be also used for the assessment AV conduction disorders, RNT wave alternations, and other various rhythm disorders. As we can see, any changes are clearly visible on the relief map, so you can be sure not to miss a single pathology. The next tool we will discuss is point care. With the help of point care, we can find out in a matter of seconds whether there are extra systoles, arrhythmias, or pauses in the signal. The principle of operation is as follows. Each point is a single heartbeat, and its position on the graph is determined by the RR distance with the preceding and following heartbeats. It can be used to detect extra systoles, pauses, atrial fibrillation, and noisy areas in the recording. The tool is represented by two graphs. NNN shows the distribution of normal complexes. Visually, the norm usually looks like a cloud in the shape of a comet. And OTHER shows the distribution of abnormal beats. In the first example, there is recoding without any abnormal findings, so we see beats only in NNN graph. Point care graphs are fully interactive, so you can select any area you are interested in and view the heartbeats one by one on an ECG fragment. 
In the following example, we see a blue cloud in the other section and an empty NNN graph. It tells us about a persistent atrial fibrillation throughout the signal. And finally, in the third example, we find the presence of pauses in the signal, which we can also select and view them on the ECG fragment. Point care is an instant analysis of the heart rate variability. It shows us the whole halter recording at a glance. And the last tool to explore is the PSD graph. PSD or power spectral density is an instant diagnostics of automatic nervous system, which helps us to identify burnout or overtraining syndromes, sleep disorders, regeneration process dynamics, etc. This method is very applicable both in clinical and sports medicine to assess the quality of training and recovery processes. The PSD module is a visual representation of heart rate variability frequency analysis, which makes it fast and convenient. Sympathetic activity is mainly observed in low frequency range and it normally should be seen during the day. While in high frequency range, we can see the dominance of the parasympathetic division that occurs at night. The next example is a clear picture of the burnout syndrome almost complete failure of regulatory processes. Most often, we see such a picture in a person after prolonged physical or mental stress. The night period is indistinguishable from the daytime. Regenerative processes are not observed. PSD can be effectively used when communicating with patients. Due to the fact that there are no numbers or tables in it, patients are able to visually see changes on their own, which leads to an increase in their consciousness and responsibility regarding treatment tactics and lifestyle. And in a final example, we have an athlete's PSD. Overall spectrum power is high with average relative dominance of high frequency waves and higher parasympathetic activity. The patient shows good quality regeneration potential while sleeping. If you want to learn more about PSD Graph, click on the link below this video. In conclusion, the reviewed BTL CardioPoint Halter tools allow you to increase diagnostic confidence in Halter examinations while saving you time. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your work with BTL CardioPoint Halter.